here we have order of operations part two where we are going to do four problems that build upon the problems we did in part one these are a little bit harder and more complex uh, a little bit longer too to solve more steps so if you're looking for part one and you missed part one i dropped the link down in the description i highly suggest you check that out before part two because part one has more of an introduction about the steps we use to solve these problems. If you're ready for part two, we're gonna start here in a second. And remember, you don't solve these problems in any order you want, and you don't go from left to right. You use that certain set of instructions or steps, and you remember them with the acronym PEMDAS. And I gave you a little table that looked like blocks stacked up it was on the left hand side of your screen in part one. I suggest you copy that table down and use that as you go through these problems until you have the steps memorized. So for part two, you could I would highly suggest you write these out with me. Um, that will be better for you as for as far as learning the process of how to do this. And then we'll follow up part two, this video, with the mastery check, which I dropped that link in the description, where you will try some on your own to see if you're good to go with order of operations problems. So let's start with number one here. And we have addition, parentheses, subtraction, and addition. So our first step is always anything in parentheses. So we're going to take a look at the 25 minus 3 plus 12. So our options are subtraction or addition first. Addition and subtraction are both priority, priority for or at the bottom of our order of operations. So we go left to right because addition and subtraction kind of hold the same weight. They're both on the same level. So we do subtraction first. 25 minus 3 is 22. Bring down everything we didn't use and we still bring down the parentheses, you only get rid of the parentheses when you use up every operation inside of those parentheses. That's when they will go away. And don't remember to drop, or don't forget to drop your 12 and addition sign. So let's look at this line now. We have 12 plus parentheses, 22 plus 12, and parentheses. So, Let's go through our steps. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, so automatically start with that. 22 plus 12 is 34. Now we used up all of the operations within those parentheses, so they go away. Drop your addition sign and your 12. And now we only have one thing left, so obviously that's what we do. 12 plus 34, and I'm running out of room, so I'm just gonna put an equal sign here and that gives us 46. Circle your final answer. There we go. We showed all our work. We showed all our steps. We were careful about how we solved the problem. 46, we are good to go. Number two, we have a four right up next, right up next to the parentheses. So hopefully we remember what that means. A three times two in the parentheses and then a plus 50. So let's go through our steps. Any parentheses? Yes, so we start there. Three times two is six. We used all of the operations in those parentheses, so they go away now. Let's drop the four. And what do you think comes between the four and the six? Hopefully you're thinking multiplication. Whenever a number is right next to parentheses, it means multiplication. You can even put an X in here in the original problem if you don't like having the number right next to the parentheses. It means the same thing. And then drop our plus 50. Let's go through our steps. Any parentheses now? No. Any exponents? No. Multiplication or division? Yes, we have multiplication. Four times six. Hopefully you're thinking 24 and then plus 50, and 24 plus 50, we get 74. We showed all our work, we took our time, we went through our steps, good to go with number two. 
All right, number three is a little bit different than all of the problems we've done so far because there aren't any parentheses. So let's go through our steps. Any parentheses? Well, we just said no. So we need to go to E, exponents. Any exponents? No. Multiplication or division? Yes, we have both. We have multiplication and division. So they are both level three and they're both the third priority. So that means we go left to right. We do, do whatever comes first and that's multiplication. So two times six is 12. Now we need to drop everything we did not use. Oops, that should be six divided by two. Let me put a division sign there. All right, so we have addition, subtraction, and division. Any parentheses? No. Exponents? No. Multiplication or division? Yes. So the six divided by two will give us three. Drop everything we did not use. All right. We have addition and we have subtraction. So those are both level four, right? Addition and subtraction are both the fourth instructions or steps down that um, set of instructions we use. So we go left to right, whatever comes first. Five plus 12, 17, and drop our minus three. 17 minus three, I'll put an equal sign, is 14 done. Okay, now notice in one and three, on my final step, I put 12 plus 34 is 46 equals 46, or 12 plus 34 equals 46. That's fine. Or number three, 17 minus three equals 14. And then number two, I continued down with that um, arrow or partial triangle method and circle the 74 under that final step. Any way, any of those is fine. The equal sign or just continuing down. It doesn't really matter as long as you get to the correct answer. Number four, any parentheses? Yes, and we have three operations within those parentheses. Division, addition, subtraction. So what do you think we do first? Hopefully you're thinking division. 30 divided by two is 15. Bring everything we did not use down. And we did not use all the operations within those parentheses, so we do need to keep them there. So we stay within the parentheses. We have addition or subtraction. They're both level four, fourth priority, so we go left to right. 15 plus 11 is 26. Drop your minus nine. We did not use everything up in the parentheses, so we keep them there. Keep them there. Okay, 26 minus nine within the parentheses. That gives us 17. And drop the 50 in the subtraction sign. So we end with 50 minus 17, which gives us 33. There we go. That's order of operations part two for you. I think and hope we are ready to try some on your own. So I dropped the link to the mastery check below. I will see you over there at the mastery check. Thanks for watching.